everybody, welcome back to Tardy. I've seen a lot of documentaries about hyper jumps. Clearly, something went wrong. It's not at all like it was in the movies. The real movies that I've watched, you know. Documentaries. Now, Walls decided to break down on me. Walls, the name of the shit. After I thought things couldn't get any worse. And I did change the resolution since last time to make it a lot easier on my eyes. What am I supposed to do now? Fixing a ship is way more difficult than just pushing some buttons. Maybe there's a planet nearby? Oh wow, something's broken, but something else is functioning now. Automatic doors! I love this ship! I'll go check it out. Maybe the crew is in there. Hey, can anybody hear me? I do. I'm so happy I'm not alone. I'm really sorry I got in here without permission. It was an accident. Thank God, someone's alive. You're the guy from the cryopod, aren't you? I'm so glad you woke up. Apparently you've rebooted the ship's systems and restored communications. But what's going on here? What here is everyone? I don't know. Treason. We had an important mission to aid the besieged planet of Veronia. That wasn't my colleague's plan, though. I was hit on the head and locked up in my living quarters. I don't even know what happened here afterwards. Sorry for mixing you up in this so quickly, but we don't have a lot of time. You're my only chance to survive and finish my mission. We have to hurry. Wait, we? I do it myself, but my door is barred and damaged from what I can see. I'm not sure, but it looks like we need to replace the whole control unit. And we don't have a spare. It's okay, I have plenty of food, and I'll need you to drive the ship to Veronia. I'm not going to damn Veronia. I need to go back home. It's... Oh, whatever. I want to get out. Going to war and saving someone is the last thing I need. You... You sneaked into someone else's ship and now you're going to hijack it? You're going to take away a whole planet's last chance just to save your own ass? Mm, yeah, you're right. That's what I'm going to do. Are you serious? Well, yeah. Do I look like I'm heroic or suicidal to you? Well, definitely not a hero. Well then, do what you want. I can't stop you. Prepare the ship and go home. Good luck. Wait. Oh, good God. Well, I can handle this myself. As usual. Hope the reboot restored not only comms, but the elevator as well. Oh good, another puzzle. When I thought of space adventures, I imagined flights and alien wars, explosions. I wonder if all spaceships are this weird. Nope, definitely not all of them. The wall is not an ordinary ship. No, oh, you're still here. Why was it built like this? Hello? Forget it, I'll do it on my own. Guess I gotta turn it on. The puzzles are all really tactile, I like that about this game. Alright, let's see. Drink some brain functioning juice here. Excuse me. Alright, that's my first move. easy. I did it. Take it easy. There's plenty more of those. More for you. You could help me. No, I've already solved my puzzles. 
How about moral support? You can embrace that dynamic if you want to. Does that mean I can use the elevator now? And then I guess I could go out the door there. Holy shit, more terminals. I have no idea what to do with them. I do, wanna know? Will you help me return? No. Well, no it is then. No, wait, damn. How about this? It doesn't matter where you go, whether you go home, or save people. You'll need the ship either way. Let's repair it, and then you can make your decision. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to change your mind. Well, it seems like I have no choice. Deal. There's only one thing left. What's your name? Ramto. My name is Ramto. Nice to meet you, Ramto. I'm in. Okay, let's see. Shift Designer was a big retro fan from what I can tell. I could complete, contemplate this for hours. This isn't the best time for games, you know. Yeah, but last time it helped me solve the problem. Maybe it'll work this time, too. Definitely not the best idea. Ramto, don't be such a nitpicker. I'll just check. You know, for science. Be quick, okay? Yes, Captain. Must be Anne's diary here. Anne's entry. Number three. Hi there, whoever you are. I've keep, I keep writing everything that's going on here. There's not many interesting things going on, though. A lot of minor accidents. But Stan says it's always more of the same in space. I'd like to think he's telling the truth. The captain said that our unexpected guest in the cryopod is to blame. That that guy brings bad luck. I don't know. If you ask me, he's just a weirdo. Although sometimes I think the ship was designed by weirdos too. There's so much more modern technology out there, but the ship is full of ancient hardware. Sometimes I like it though. When trying to understand this Calc 3000, I don't think about sad things. There are so many weird unlabeled buttons and hidden panels. It's as if I'm, as if I'm in a mysterious movie in which every machine has a secret function. Maybe there's a... Maybe that's the way it is. Sometimes I feel like the ship isn't what it seems. I constantly run into secret devices and hidden compartments. Something's telling me much, it's much more. But why? Who would need this? I need to fully commit myself to the mission. But the detective inside me can't calm down. Maybe it's nonsense fantasies. Maybe all these ideas were born from some mad paranoid delusions. But all those people acting strangely in the cryptopod storeway, accidents, secret technologies, AI that has its finger in every pie. Maybe these coincidences are not coincidences at all. I think I should dig deeper and get to the bottom of this. I don't have much time to do until we arrive anyway. Ian's entry number four. The more I learn about Wall, the more I feel something must be going on under the surface. The ship must break down every off so often for a reason. It's hiding something, and the AI is trying to stop me from learning. The truth. It gives me false directions, fakes captain orders, and mocks me in its spare time. It reminds me of a living person, not a machine. A nasty, sarcastic, and mean person. Another problem is Rick. The goddamn lunatic suspects that I'm a spy. He thinks I'm trying to disrupt the mission, and that I was sent to the ship by the Confederates. At first, Stan and I thought it was funny, but now Rick's really being a lunatic. He spies on me even in the shower. I can't go anywhere unnoticed, so my investigation is on the verge of failure. Maybe Rick is the spy? Looking at how he handles the ship's systems and befriends the AI, I think it's possible. And entry number five. It seems like Wall was designed to prevent us from getting to Veronia. All these puzzles, malfunctions, locked doors, it's like an obstacle course, so I think the Empire gave us the ship to sabotage our mission. Yes, of course we'll give you transport for evacuation. We'll send you food and... Oops. We'll send you food and medics, but if you don't make it to Verona, that's your problem. Or maybe I don't know anything, but I suspect to have they have a watcher on the ship there to make sure we won't make it. Something tells me Rick is the traitor. He's trying too hard to stop me and causing me a lot of problems. I need to find some evidence. When I have it, I'll go straight to Stan. Looks like the captain knows everything. Melanie doesn't care. Stan is the only one I can trust. Space Vaders. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to use the keyboard here. Super tough. I think 
the mini games in Mechanica were better, or what was that called? Shit, no, I can't remember the name of it. Mechanopolis. I, don't know, I can't remember what it was called. Something like that. Uh, two more to go. One more to go, and I win. Yes. Can you see my hologram? Something just opened. What's that? It's a fingerprint scanner. And here I was hoping for a blaster. Or a portable teleport. Or... Just shut up, for heaven's sake. No, I'm never gonna get old. Act my age again. What's my age again? You remember that song, man? I love that song. Unlike you, oldie. Why did you install this into your ship? And more importantly, what can I do with it? I don't know, use your imagination. I guess I have to scan for fingerprints on something. So, what should I do? From what I can tell, the hyperdrive is broken. So? You should check it, but first you'll need to find it. And how am I supposed to do that? The door isn't working. I think the fuse is blown. Where can I find another one? Nowhere. There aren't any on the ship. And just what am I supposed to do then? Use a 3D printer? All the blueprints should be somewhere on the disk. Find them and then solve another puzzle, play a game. <laughs> I can do that. No, just find the flash drive with the blueprint and press the button. That's it. Sounds too good to be true. First, you need to find the flash drive. Where? No idea. You wanted puzzles. You got them. Challenge accepted. I guess it's locked. Pathfinder. You're not too modest, are you? Must be the blueprints and the chip that I need for the 3D scanner, 3D printer. Information. to read the second no I should have thrown that idiot into space oh god the, the bad spacing crazy things are happening the AI has gone completely mad the bastard machine is getting in the way of my work I can't run in the ship it says I'm too old and cannot function properly and that it'll just do everything I've also got problems with the crew Melanie Melanie ignores everyone and just works all day long she doesn't care about Veronia and triggers conflicts with the other crew members Rick and Anne think they're some kind of rival detectives they both think the other is a spy and they blame each other for all our problems they're so paranoid it's funny how can we either how can either of them sabotage something if they spend all their time watching each other I shouldn't have gone on this mission. If the vermin are involved, it's something... It's something dangerous. I made a mistake taking this kind of risk. Their watcher slipped up. Everything went to shit, and now I can't stop thinking about my, lo my life. Have I just made mistake... Have I just made mistake after mistake? I knew everything about their little secrets, and I kept silent. Yes, my family is at stake, but was it worth it? Anyway, it's too late. Or is it? It's funny that I only started thinking about all this once... D 
death waved at me through my window. Hmm. Okay. So we can back out. What a masterpiece. Aren't I a 3D maestro? I'm not gonna answer that. Okay, I guess I made the thing I needed. What did you do on the ship? I'm a doctor, took care of the crew's health. I was also supposed to help on Veronia, but we didn't get there. You're a selfless person. Why are you going to sacrifice your life for strangers? They're not strangers. What do you mean? Veronia is my home planet. I was born and raised there. And my sister's still there. And she could be in trouble right now, so I can't help her. I'm sorry. I better read Rick's science journal. Entry 4. The onboard AI is scaring me. It knows how to push my buttons. It speaks in different voices. When it began to speak just like my mom, I almost had a heart attack. This bastard would pass Riddling's test... Riddling's test without any trouble, and I don't think the test is still used. I'm afraid to even think about this, but this AI could be against us. If it really is, I'll have to disable it. Otherwise, it'll disable me. One day, I'll have to admit. I have to admit, though... I found, it's found its place in my heart. This hunk of tin understands me better than anyone else. It can talk about anything. Who else on the ship can I discuss the latest scientific discoveries with? Or argue about who's stronger, Vashner or Diridello? Definitely not Stan. Entry five, I'm trying to find out which faction irritates me more, the Confederates that openly devour planet after planet or the Empire that secretly helps them. I don't know, something went wrong in this world. Entry six, Anne annoys me more and more. She's beaten my record at Pong. I was way over the line. She probably did it on purpose, just to spite me. I'm close to finding evidence that she's guilty. Can't wait to hang her out to dry. I won't let her ruin the operation. Entry 7. I've locked Anne out, but I was wrong. So wrong. Melanie's dead, and it's my fault. There's some irony in the fact that it was Mel, the most indifferent and tedious woman who found the traitor while Anne and I were hunting each other. It's a pity that Mel didn't have time to do something. I don't know why she died, but it doesn't matter now. I buried her. Not the way it should be, of course. Stan is somewhere nearby. He probably he is probably armed, and I doubt he's alone. I need to make things right. I can't let the ship get to Veronia. All right, I'll disable the hyperdrive and the AI control unit. That'll slow them down. I must make things right. The stakes are too high. So Rick disabled is the one who disabled the ship. Shit, there's a dead man. He has a pick in his hand, and it looks like he used it to damage the hyperdrive. Scientists with picks are always such a pain. Looks like some kind of space horror. It's probably Rick. He tried to undermine the mission, and he almost succeeded. But why does the corpse look like a skeleton? I don't know. How did they die, and where's Stan? crew members. Okay, I'm here. There are three blocks here. They're broken. That's bad. Why? You mean the 3D printer won't help us? Maybe there's something in the hold. No, Ramto. We're not any closer to getting the hyperdrive working. Things are worse than I thought. We need spare parts that can't be printed. 
better pray we find them on the nearest planet, or I doubt you'll ever get home. Okay, so I think I'm going to end it here. Apparently we're going to land on the planet next time. Uh, we'll be doing chapter three. Uh, there's only four chapters, so if we're doing a chapter each time, that'll be Saturday will be chapter three, and then the last chapter will be the Monday after that. So we'll be getting pretty close to the end of the game here. Uh, <laughs> trying to kind of stop the cutscene from going, but it's still going. So uh, anyway, this will be where we where we start off on Saturday. Uh, we have more of the regular Ghost Trick tomorrow and Sea of Stars on Wednesday. So hope you have a great rest of your week, and we will catch you next time. Later.